Oh, hello again. This is Hero. Um, today I'm just kind of outside shooting handheld. Uh, well, let's just make it like a, a little tour. Well, we just had a nice cold snap. And look at all these deciduous changing color. So this is a Japanese hornbeam. And as we go down, that's a ginkgo. Ginkgo usually is one of the most consistent uh, the deciduous that change color. Chinese elms, uh, sometimes they change nicely, other times they just kind of fall off. Sometimes not impressive at all. But that's what we get as we get colder. Here's a bench full of medium sized things and some has changed colors, other has not. Well, some better not, like the olive better not change color. Um, the boxwood has a winter look and a warm season look too. But most of the uh, evergreens should stay the same. We're looking at Chinese elm, Hinoki cypress, and look at that. Hornbeam. Hornbeam sometimes changes colors nicely, other time it just falls off. Today it seemed like it's in good shape here. And then we see the ginkgo, it hasn't done anything yet. So it depends on when and what's ahead here is a crepe myrtle changing color. Okay, this ginkgo has not changed. Junipers don't really change much. This elm is doing its thing now. It's looking great. Bach, no, that is a privet they don't change and then we have other Chinese elms not doing anything in terms of coloring uh, you see that blank space there that was a let's see what was that that was a Deodora bonsai that left well let's take another look at this one here because it's changing so nicely so this is the one with a kind of unusual shape. It went up and it came back down. But today I just want to show you the potential for the coloring. Well, look at this. It's an unimpressive sight. This is a crepe myrtle. And it's just going to fall off. And then next to it is Chinese elm. Things like that. That wild thing in the back is a trident maple. It just uh, one of those grew by itself. It's in the ground. I'll probably dig it up. We see Chinese elms. Not too impressive. Okay, these are different kinds of pines, mostly black, and there was a mugo in there. We'll get to these really soon. You should see that I have plenty of work and to do. And in the background here is our greedy air layering. I think I'll take these off as soon as it goes completely dormant. This Chinese elm is turning nice color others nothing but look at that horn beam it just pops out not very impressive that's a Chinese hackberry getting better
this year seems good for the Okobas. So you know this deciduous stuff that's changing color, it depends on the year. You can see this one is a little better than this one. And they're all basically in the same area. This elm is trying to change color. And then as I go this way, nothing. Oh, my loofah was a failure. Well, it's frozen now, but I could not get that thing to become the sponge that it's supposed to be. Pomegranate. The fruit is splitting. So, in this area, Pomegranate not changing color yet. So my material section. We got a bunch of tridents and we got one that's really doing nicely and others not so much. So anyway, um, so as we pan this is kind of a, another quick tour of the nursery we're in the middle of November after a nice cool well actually it was cold snap so anyway Hero saying goodbye. I'll see you again real soon in another chapter. Stay safe, everybody.